way the fuck better. Alright, I want this cled. I know what we're doing here. Give me the cled. Get out of my get out of my cled. My cled. Uh, Miss Bong, congrats on your golden swing. 12 months, one year anniversary. Only thing that grew more than my TFT skills are your beard. True. True, the beard is so long. Alright, what are we getting here? Okay. Skirmisher tank ribbon is nutty. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. We'll see what we get. It'll all depend on what shadow item we get. Another cled. Uh, I mean, chance of spat on start? It's like one in fifty. I think it's either it's either one in fifty or one in a hundred. I can't remember. I think it's one in fifty. That's not a great item, but that's okay. No, no cled. I remember you saying it was 1% in set 3. It might be 1% then, which is 1 in 100. Like I said, I can't remember if it's 1% or 2% off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up. Alright, what do we got here? Give me that Give me that good orb. Uh, I don't need any of you. I, actually, I do need you. And you. You're both pretty good. I don't need you. We want to lose anyway, though, so that we can get the item we want off Carousel, because we're going to lock in our direction at Carousel if we don't get it before then. So so we'll chill for now, and we're okay with losing a few fights to get what we want. All right, that was a good song. Whoever picked that one, good choice. Uh, Quickie, is Hellion Copy Teemo supposed to activate Cruel or not? It is supposed to. It is a bug that it doesn't. Sorry about that. Hey Mort, awesome set, you've got me fully hooked again, so my question is about the theme of good versus evil with Darius and Garen. Do you think the theme didn't deliver as much as intended, or shadow items just overshadow everything? I think we knew that the theme wasn't going to be, like, super dominant, so we were kind of okay with that. Like like I said, I joked about it earlier that no one really reads the God King trait. Um, so... Development time kind of put us in that situation where that's where we ended up. But at the same time, the teams do feel sort of good and evilish, and I think definitely the armory and shadow items certainly overshadowed it a bit. So, okay, that is not the one we wanted, but I accidentally clicked it, so we get it. Bang! Dun -dun. Well, like I said, we still want to keep losing for now, then. That's actually okay, because it gives us this, which isn't bad. Yeah, there's Shadow Morello Kennen, there's Shadow Morello Hecarim, to be honest. Like, I'm not disappointed with that pickup, so. But I still want to be losing, because we want a Shadow Armor. Oh yeah, kick my ass. Two assassins? I'm still losing this fight. What Shadow Spatula does and Normal Spatula doesn't? Uh, normal Spatula can't make shadow items by itself. Oh no, we took eight damage. No! No! Have you met Merkel on Soju streams? I haven't met him, but is he the one who does the LLLLLLL stuff? Because if so, that shit's hilarious.
Can we have talk to stream on this stream too? No. <laughs> no. Bum, 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 bum. Merkel carrying Soju stream so hard. I mean, the shit's funny. The shit's really funny. I joined in the other day and I did the WWWWW. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh no, we're losing. Oh. The agony of defeat. No. How could it come to this? All right, shadow armor. All right, we're first pick. Shadow armor. Shadow sword. Shadow rod. Screw you, game. Well, I'm greeting for it. We're, we're making this happen no matter what happens, so... Who said TTS meant talk to stream? Does it mean something else? Have you ever thought about making the max level bigger than number 9? No. No. Combat clarity already goes through the, to the shitter when you're at 9. Text to speech? Oh. Ah. I don't know your fancy big words and your texts and things. I'm pretty sure this is better. They both suck, but... That's okay. We'll keep losing for a bit. When will we see a Shadow Force of Nature game? I mean, if I saw a Shadow Spat there, we could have done it. They're so hard to play, though. The one time I've gotten one, I won hard. But I had to, like, prep it really well. I mean, hopefully we lose this by, like, one. I don't think we can ever kill the Vlad. So, I'll, lose. I'll take a loss by two. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Alright. I really like the Draconic idea. Wish they were viable late. Draconic is like the second best comp in the game if you get it at 2 1. Is there a story about Scar as a 100 gift? I mean, it was my 24 hour stream. Has the design team thought about making a comp where, for some synergy reason or whatever, it is not in your interest to level? I mean, that's kind of what Hellion is to some small extent. But I think if we went too hard, it would become too brain dead. So, uh, Lucifer Senpai, appreciate these seven months and still loving it. Thanks for the awesome content. Glad you're enjoying. Have you seen the Scar Cat emote? I haven't seen the emote, but I saw him do the meow thing, which I thought was hilarious. I, I, you know, props to Offline TV. I, I thought the whole hot tub thing was going to be like, really troll and cringe and not funny but I actually ended up like laughing I only watched it for like 10 minutes but like the t-shirt choices was hilarious oh come on Ash come on Ash oh shit damn it so I don't know I thought it was pretty funny Do you know the legendary TFT player Volterix? I mean, I know of him. Hey, Mort, if you accidentally drag an item from the armory, how do you put it back? Yeah, you can't. It's a bug. Team's aware and should be fixing it. Yeah, it's a, it's a lane bug. Alright, Thresh. Did I just get two brands out of a capsule? Okay. Okay.
I mean, I get it. You, I get why you want it. I get why you always want more information. It's just... No, the UI, UX complexity versus the trade-off there isn't worth it. So, Would you try a Viego with Hellion? I mean, if I somehow got it, sure, I suppose. I mean, if we can get a tier, we're in such a good spot, but... This guy has a big skirmisher comp. That comp's really good in the mid game. Do I play any card games? Not anymore. Like I played Magic growing up a lot. I've played many card games, but like I don't actively play any right now. So, would you ever consider implementing eight skirmisher? Not eight, but we would do nine. Nine is probably coming in patch eleven twelve. Did you play Yu-Gi-Oh? No. It'd be funny if I did, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course, make Jack stronger. You better rework him, then. Why do you think that would be stronger? Is 9 Skirmisher inherently going to be better than 6 Skirmisher? It means you're running a lot of 1 costs and 2 costs. Oh, look, another Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix, you bastard! Good loss. Ba -da -da. Any hints on the other chase traits being added in 11-12? I mean, let me put it this way. Think about the chase traits you want. They're probably being added. <laughs> Alright, Shadow Armor. Sha <gasps> shadow Armor! Oh god, Shadow Armor. Please don't take that Shadow Armor. Please, 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 please. Hell yeah, this game's lit. Why did you skip my message and I said I love you? It's because my heart is already taken! Now, we still need a tear at some point, but... Uh, here. You be a Cavalier for now. And now we spend the rest of the game pressing reroll. We still need a tier pretty desperately. And I should probably I'm I'm probably gonna cavalier spat brand. We just need a tier. You reroll at seven? No, you reroll at six. You don't reroll at seven. Otherwise you'll hit too late and you'll die. Need a victor. I need a victor! Hmm. I missed a victor? I don't believe you. Unless it was like 20 years ago. Morello brand? Hell no. Never Morello your brand. If you Morello your brand, you're silly. There are so many assassin players. Alright, watching Cavalier Scion is hilarious, though. I missed Morgana? True, I did miss Morgana. You got me there. Alright, we need a tier. Hey, there's a victor. Alright, which means time to ditch the A-bombs. Time to put this here.
Two more brands. Why Cavalier brand? You know all those Kha'Zixes that have been killing me? Guess what they won't be able to do now. Alright. So... I wish we'd hit Hecarim 2. I think that's the play. Alright. Let's see here. Oh yeah, Cavalier Brand. So bad. Look at the way he charged it. Oh wait. No, he's great. Cavalier Nocturne? Cavalier Nocturne seems pretty good. The thing is, right now, we just need a tier. We really desperately need a tier. Uh, I just got a bug where, as a fight finished, Viego killing a unit. I won, enemy took damage, but the team was still fighting the champion Viego still. Is this a known bug? I don't know. I'm on vacation. Tier! <gasps> we did it! We got our tier! One more brand? Hecarim, thank you. Hecarim. Alright. One more brand, then we could level. Why is Morello brand bad? Uh, because he doesn't really benefit from, like... He's not actually that fast at spreading it. He does enough damage by himself. And typically you're running him with things like Gunblade or things that amp his damage up. Morello doesn't benefit from that damage amp. So it's not really good. Cavalier Brand equals Ghost Rider? Oh my god, what a good name. What a good name! I know this is kind of out there, but if you guys looked at Labs game mode, like old WSC tower defense mods where the whole lobby works together to fight minions of waves, uh, we haven't. But usually PvE stuff like that gets consumed a little too quickly for it to really be worth the development time. So. See, this is why you run Cavalier Brand. This Nidalee is just tickling Cavalier Brand. Come on, there we go, there we go, that's a win. Brand 3! All right, now we should consider leveling. Should we? Eh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, because we could still hit Kled 3, which wouldn't be bad. Well, I mean, we'd only be leveling to 7. This comp doesn't usually go above 7 until it 3 stars Hecarim, so... Stop! You're tickling my brand! Stop! The tickling! Me! Five Cavaliers is probably on that list? It probably is. Shouldn't Kled be Rel anyway? Well, only if you don't like Gumbo. Alright, we have a bow. Which means we want an armor. But it's a shadow armor, so that kind of sucks. So instead, we might just take the shadow armor. In the one in a million chance we get another spatula. Which is better, Cavalier Brand or Spellweaver Hecarim? I mean, probably Cavalier Brand, because again, you want your brand to live. Like, Brand needs a defensive item to prevent against assassins. And so this is acting as that defensive item. Sweet. 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 
If we lose, we sell Thresh. No big deal. Uh, what do you think about an idea? Sometimes you get scrolls for enchanting the weapon, but you can also break the weapon or get some cool bonus like haste or attack speed or lifesteal. I think that sounds like another system on top of a game that has too many systems. So I admit I wouldn't be excited to add something like that. Maybe for a set mechanic or something, but... Uh, why Dev Team doesn't create Knight Spat, even though Knight Trait does not have three or four cost units? I know it has two five cost, but for six knights, it takes forever to get a Garen. Uh, wasted six knight Sag. Yeah, I hear you. I hear, I can hear the complaints and why that would be the case, but... The reality is, Knights, when it's really, really good, is very oppressive and sort of shuts down a lot of options, since it has no counterplay like Last Whisper. So, making Knights too accessible... It's probably unhealthy for the game. Kind of like true damage, to be honest. Well, that was a bad turn. That's okay. What are some prime targets for the Archangel staff? I'm never sure Shooter Hood put them on. Uh, I mean, things like Warwick and Vlad are decent with it. Um, after that, though, there aren't really a lot of great options right now. The item's pretty underpowered, so... It's a lot of assassins. Diego's dead, though. He stole my Thresh! Uh-oh. Did we lose this? Oof, that was close. That was close. Are there any plans to make a 2v2v2v2 2v2 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 mode or normal mode in the future? What do you think about it? I think the option to make it is exciting, and I hope in the future we can deliver cool new ways to play TFT. All right. Hey, that's a lot of two costs. Come on. Come on! Did you see the Trundle 1 eating Zyra 3 and Set 3 video? Kiting's video? Yeah. Thoughts about it? I hate it. I hate that that's a thing. That's my honest opinion, is I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Well, fiddlesticks. All right, Cled, you're the least important. Oh, look at that shroud. That shroud was perfect. That Velkaz isn't casting for a while. Might still win anyway. But, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, close. Close. We do need a rel pretty badly. Oh, hey. Can't complain about that. Alright, still chilling. We do need a rel though. The rel shield would be really advantageous here. What are we up against here? Skirmisher, Dragon Slayer. Never seen this comp before. Haha. -ha. It's funny because I have seen the comp before. All the time. Every game. <laughs> Isn't he looking for two costs? Why well, roll on six instead of seven? Uh, okay, so what percentage is two costs at six? What percentage at two costs at seven? And how much health do I have because I didn't wait? I 
think we lose this. Oh, we won this. Just barely. Woo. Woo. I mean, we're definitely at the point where we could start leveling. I was going to wait till I found a rel, but... We do need to level soon. Because ideally we get Rel in, we throw in Nautilus, that gives us two Ironclad, which is good. Which is good. The Hecarim is what we really are after. He's level 9, we're level 6. He has a 2-star Heimerdinger that's going to do no damage. Because that's what I heard, is that Heimerdinger does no damage. Although we did Shroud it, which is really funny. It had a 231 mana cost. Are we going to win this? I don't think so. Oh, we got a dash, though, which means we take, like, no damage. Level 6 versus level 9. <laughs> okay. You know, that was pretty good. Shroud really helped there. Uh, Redemption is probably the play here. If not Redemption, Bramble. If not those, I don't know. Probably something like Ginsu's. Sweet, Bramble. We'll take a Bramble. Cav OP need to flip balance switch to bad? True. Hey Mort, I was just wondering, what is your favorite champion to be the leader of the Coven effect? Not necessarily the strongest, just the one you consider the most fun. Probably Heimerdinger. I think Coven Heimerdinger getting to cast with the big cast is really good and fun and good. Do we level now? Alright. Didn't help, but fine. All right, sexy doctor. Look at these shrouds, though. I mean, our shrouds in a good spot. Not this fight, though. Diego, you bastard! Oh no, he stole our cled, and then he lost. No. Is it intended for SEJ to not deal damage versus a unit with QS? Oh, Sejuani. Sejuani to not deal damage? No, that's definitely not intended. That is definitely not intended. All right, back to re-rolling. We're getting to the point where I shouldn't be greedy at 50 gold, but let's go to 40. Hey, never mind. Oh! Oh, I mean, that was just, like, everything we needed. Sweet. Bye, Cled. Bye, Cled! Now we have a three-star Hecarim. Now we're in a good spot. This Hecarim is not dying? I mean, what, just because he takes... 80% less damage and can't be crit and has a bunch of bonus armor. Are you implying that that makes him strong or something? Is that what you're implying? Oh no, Karma. You beast. Hey, what is your favorite comp? This. This is my favorite comp, and I'm not even kidding. This is this is absolutely my favorite comp. I love this comp. Hey, Thresh 3. Hey, two lockets and an ionic spark on a three star. <laughs> so, at this point, knowing that first place is this, I don't know. What do we run? I don't even care. Jax? More spell weavers? Could run more spell weavers, I guess. Go to four spell weaver. Four 
Or Spellweaver might be the play. Let's see how we do against this guy without. Let's see how we do. So, how do I counter Viego? He's been absolutely ruining games for me. The counter to Viego is cornered. You have to corner up. Oh my god, that thing just got one shot. Thresh just one shot that thing. Thresh just one shot that thing. 1200 damage. This Thresh is a beast. Stop. You're annoying my team. Goodbye, L I L L I T 1. Alright, well, again, I, I still have to see how we do against the Skirmisher player. That's the real test here. Before I consider going to the Force Spell Weaver. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Hey Mort, hope you enjoy your vacation and that you can relax a bit. Now to my question, I'm sorry if you've been here before. What's the process of choosing a champ skin for a set and what abilities you take from the unique kits? I mean, there is no, like, magical process. It's just a bunch of decisions. I don't want to hit Hecarim with that. Um, but basically, we start with theme, and then after we have the theme, uh, we go from there and pick what matches that theme. So, All right, like I said, this is the test. I want to see how we do against this. If we do really well... Yeah, because he's got Darius, so Ironclad's not doing a lot. I think it is for Spellweaver here. That way, Brand actually has a lot of meat behind him. Watching this Jax hit is really funny, though. I had a round where I had two Threshes out and they targeted the same unit, but the second Threshhood did not deal damage. Is that bug known? It is not known. Alright. Let's see how that does. He zephyred my Sejuani. As long as Hecarim doesn't die, we should still be okay. As soon as Hecarim dies, that's when we panic. Uh oh. Time to panic!
yeah. Heimer does too much work here. I can't do enough damage. Ah, oh, well. Because he's got... Actually, he doesn't have Mystic, but... Oh, well. Second place. GG. I mean, Heimer definitely did the damage, but... GG. Second place with...